Hello. In this session, we will cover the installation and configuration of the RIA tooling, also known as Experience Services Tooling, which is a Flash Builder plugin that's integrated with the Adobe Digital Enterprise RIA platform Quick Start. You can see here that I'm currently running the RIA Quick Start. Next, we'll start Flash Builder as administrator. It's required to run Flash Builder as administrator on Windows 7 to install new software. The next step is to choose from the help menu, install new software. From the work with menu, select Adobe Enterprise Suite extensions for Flash Builder 4.5. Now you'll be presented with a list of the available components contained within the update site. It's recommended that you select all to update and install all available tooling plugins. So we're going to select the option install all and click next. We can review the installation details and proceed. Accept the EULA and click finish. Once installation is complete, you'll be prompted with an option to restart Flash Builder. Accept the restart. After restarting, you'll be prompted with an option to automatically reset the perspective. This is required in order for the new tooling options to show up in Flash Builder. Select Yes. If we take a look at the File New menu option, you'll see a new project type, Flex Project for ADEP Experience Services. You'll also see some additional options down here for composite applications. Before we move into creating projects, first we'll need to configure the preferences. Select Window Preferences. Under the Adobe tab, go to RDS Configuration. If you proceed to test the connection, you'll see that there is an error notifying us that RDS may not be available. The first thing we need to do before configuring the plugins is to enable RDS on the server. To do this, let's log in from the welcome page. We can go to the OSGI console. On the configuration page, choose Adobe Data Services. On this tab, click the option to enable RDS. Also click the option to allow unsecured RDS connections and click Save. Now if we go back to Flash Builder, to our Adobe RDS configuration preferences, we can proceed to test the connection again. You'll see that now the connection is successful. The other thing that we'll need to do is pull down a local copy of the SDK. First, browse to a directory that you would like to use to store the SDK. In my case, I'll choose a directory under the folder ADEP, which I've created. I'll call this local SDK, click OK, and select the option to retrieve the SDK. This will pull a local copy of the SDK down from the server. Now that you've enabled RDS, tested your server connection, and pulled down a local copy of the SDK, the tooling is now properly configured. We'll be covering creating new applications in another session. Thank you.